Hello and welcome back to a new video here in the Trading for One channel. Today we are going to analyze how you can use the grid trading functionality that Binance provides. This is a free bot that you can configure it and use it to buy low and sell high 24-7 automatically with just one click as explained in here. And also you have the possibility to use a futures grid trading that has more risk because you can use leverage in there. Leverage is money that you request to the broker, to the exchange, to get a loan. So in that way, you can trade with more capital so you can increase your profit, but also you can lose all your money. So this is a really risky tool. It's not for everyone. You have to do your own research and you have to always understand that you can earn passive income, but also you can lose all your money. So you can only use money that you are willing to lose. It's always risk involved. How you can do to enter this alternative? First, you have to have a Binance account. If you don't have a, an account on Binance, you can use the link that I leave you in the description and the first comment. In that way, you're going to help the channel to be growing. And also you are going to get 5% discount of all the fees and commissions that Binance is going to charge you in the long term. After you create an account, you have to verify your account. You have to pass the KYC verification process. And then you can go to this tab that says trade and then go to strategy trading. So you're going to land to this website and in here you can select spot grid trading and futures grid trading. The spot grid trading has less risk and the future grid trading has high risk. In here you can preset range in which you want the bot to trade to buy low and sell high. You can take advantage of volatile markets and if you want to use the futures grid trading you can also earn money while the Bitcoin drop for another cryptocurrency. In here, we are going to enter this functionality. You can decide which type of bot do you want to use. The neutral grid trading that is more useful for range markets, lateral zones, this is a more common one. You can also select the long bot that is useful when the Bitcoin has a uptrend or the short bot that is going to be useful when the price is dropping. After that, you have to select the strategy, the price range, the amount of grids. Then you run the strategy and you can close the strategy anytime. It's really similar to all the grid bots that are available around there. In here, for example, if you want to select a neutral bot, in here you can select the leverage. In here we are talking about the futures grid trading, the more risky one. The leverage that you want, the more leverage you select, the more risk you have. In my opinion, you never use more than 6 or 5x because otherwise, if you select more leverage, the probability of losing all will increase a lot. So remember, the less leverage you use, the less risk you have. After that, you can define if you want the default parameters. That is the easier way to start using this bot because if you are not a professional, if you don't know how to define the grid, how to define the range is going to be harder for you if you want to decide to use the manual one. So the easier way to start is with the automatic version. So in here you define the amount of money that you want to invest and that's it. You can create your own bot. If you have more knowledge, you can define the specific price range in which the bot is going to be running. What is a range? A range consists of two price tag in which the bot is going to keep running. For example, if you go to the automatic one, in here says that from $20,600 up to almost $29,000, this bot is going to keep running. So which is the main idea? The bot is going to buy low and sell high, buy low and sell high, buy low and sell high. So while the bot goes sideways, you can get passive income. What happens if the price drop below 20,000? Well, the bot is going to stop working. The same will happen if the price of Bitcoin in this case goes higher than 29,000. You can apply this bot to different type of assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB and more. In my opinion, it's always better to select Bitcoin or Ethereum because the other cryptocurrencies are too volatile so it's harder to predict the movements in that way you are more likely to lose the money so the bitcoin and ethereum are the less risky bots in my opinion you always have to make your analysis and make your own decisions so this is the automatic one you don't have to define the range because it's already predefined but if you understand that the range is not this one and because 
you know how to make a technical analysis, for example, and you understand that the support and resistance are in another place, you can define it manually, in which time the bot is going to start working and also in which price tag is going to stop working. The amount of grids is the amount of orders that this bot is going to place because, as I said before, the bot is going to keep buying low, keep selling high. So it's not going to buy only once. It's going to keep buying in several orders while the Bitcoin is going down. So the more grids that you define, the more orders that this bot is going to place. If you have any question, because this is a bit complicated, you can leave a comment and we will be happy to help you. So the main thing of any bot is the range and also the grid number, the amount of orders. Also, you can define the amount of money and that's it. What you create, you can earn passive income if this bot goes well, and also you can lose money. If you want to decrease the amount of risk, you can use the spot grid trading. As I said before, this bot doesn't use leverage, so the risk is lower. You have to select a strategy. The price range that I explained before is the same for the spot uh, bot. The grids, the number of grids, you can go and run the strategy and you can close it anytime that you want. So in this case, you are not going to be able to select a leverage because as you are using a spot grid trading, it's not leverage available for you. And also you can use the default pre-settings or you can define it manually, the range, the amount of grids and the amount of capital, the amount of money. After that, you create it and you can close it anytime. So in this way, you can use a free bot to start trading if you don't have time, if you don't have knowledge you can use the default settings and that's it could be a useful alternative to diversify but you always have to understand the risk involved we explained in the past how you can use the big get bot and also the bin x there are two different exchange if you didn't watch it you can watch the videos in our channel remember to subscribe to leave a comment if you have any question and we will see you on our next video bye